update it, denying the conditional use request of Sprawl Road Developers LLC pursuant to section 300-62F3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of the Township Code with respect to the areas of steep and very steep slopes in order to permit disturbances for the uses of grading, stormwater management facilities, trails, pocket parks, roads, bridges, driveways, utilities, and their easements, sanitary sewer system, parking lots, landscaping, and certain accessory uses and structures in connection with the proposed residential development of 52.67 acres of the property located at 1797 Sprawl Road, Springfield, Marple Township, uh, Delaware County, PA. Second, John Longacre. Discussion? Uh, I do have discussion. I was going to wait to the, to the second motion, but yeah, I'll get it out now, so, I, so I'll try not to bore you guys too much. Um, and I, I, as you know, this is a, a, a project that is dear to my heart uh, growing up in this neighborhood. Um, and I refer, um, as corny as it may be, uh, you know, back in the 60s, they had some foresight on things, and Joni Mitchell from the big yellow taxi saw it all and uh i'm not going to sing it but i'll say it uh, they took all the trees and put them in the museum and they charged the people a dollar and a half to see them don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone they paved paradise and put up a parking lot uh, those words are resounding for what's going on with this development uh this developer we told him from the beginning don't try to piecemeal us on three different projects that's what they tried to do. Um, so if I take about five minutes, let me say my piece again. Um, I will stand on my comments made during the previous denial uh, for the back park of, part of the property. Uh, if anybody is bored at any time, I believe you can view them as it was posted by someone to YouTube. I think Ken put it on there. Uh, and I do want to thank the many of you who reached out to me with, uh, with your kind words. Uh, that said, a good portion of tonight's resolutions recite those previous comments that I made, so I'm, I'm extremely encouraged that they were incorporated, and for brevity, I will not repeat them. The resolutions can be found on the website, so you can read uh, uh, the actual denials um, and, and the paragraphs there want. I don't want to reiterate some of the points, but I do want to note some things. Uh, the clear cutting of the existing forest, the mature canopy, and other vegetation can never be repaired or replaced. They are of no value to the proposed development of the property, and if done, they will be forever gone. Displacement of local wildlife will never be replaced. They will also be forever gone. The natural flow and evolution of the waterways and ecosystem will forever be polluted, destroyed, and altered. It is our duty to indefinitely protect those woodlands, wildlife, and waterways for today, tomorrow, and the future. We, not only as elected officials, but as citizens and residents of this township, of this county, and of the state, have a duty under the PA Constitution to protect and preserve the Commonwealth's natural resources. The people have a right to clean air, pure water and to the preservation of the natural, scenic, historical, and aesthetic values of the environment. Pennsylvania's public natural resources are the common property of the people, including generations to come. As trustee of these resources, the Commonwealth shall conserve and maintain them for the benefit of all the people. Uh, that is part of our PA Constitution, Article 1, uh, Section 27, to be read by anybody. I did make mention last time of our comprehensive plan. And the comprehensive plan did not contemplate the residential and commercial development as proposed by the applicant. And further, the open space of Don Guanella property and St. Peter and Paul Cemetery are noted as a percentage of the township's open space. Uh, to allow this project to proceed would obviously significantly decrease the open space uh, in our township. The protection of the township's natural features, open space resources, and historic heritage will remain a high priority. And this, again, this is all part of our comprehensive plan, what we're bound to, to try to do. And 
the township must have continued efforts to acquire and preserve such open space. I call this uh, from farmland to no land. Um, I haven't lived here for nearly 50 years. Uh, I remember the cornfields on Paxton Hollow Road. John, I'm sure you remember them as well. Uh, the open space as, as well as the water well at the now Marble Commons. Uh, we had a few log cabins, uh, the bird dog track, which, uh, you know, the house burnt down and all the other open lands throughout the township, uh, which were ultimately transformed to houses. Uh, I have a vivid memories, as well as Mr. Protesto does, of walking the creek, turning rocks for salamanders, and biking at the uh, Don Guanella track, finally known, finally known to many of us as the farm. Uh, we all had a spot. Loomis and Lawrence Park area was the farm. Russell, Russell School area, we had rock top. Um, Marple and Whirl, they had Votech. These were all part of my and our lives in Brumo. I think we have enough and have taken enough. It is time to stop. It is difficult to believe that the St. Peter and Paul Cemetery Monument across from Wendy's, if anybody noticed it, you drive by there, you will notice it now, uh, was intended to be a pole sign for a massive development. And I will conclude uh, currently, neither the township, county, or school district collect any tax revenue from the, uh, the property. The argument of additional tax revenue will clearly be offset by coinciding burdens on our township services and our school district. Construction disruptions aside, which will be felt by all of us for many a day and a year, the, pros, the, the proposed development of this property will forever affect the aesthetics, wind patterns, sight lines, trash, light, and noise pollution in our township. This is one of the last forests we have in our township and county, and I believe we do have a fiduciary duty to protect it. Therefore, I support the resolutions to deny, to avoid another pay paradise and another parking lot. And I thank everybody for listening. All those in favor? Well, could, 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 sure. Joe, first of all, everybody should know it's a yes to deny. Right. And can we do a roll call just so they know exactly where we all stand? Yes. 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 Yes, John Longacre. Yes to deny. Yes, Dan Leibson. Motion to deny passes seven to zero. Six, Six to zero. Six to zero. Uh, get a motion for number seven, please. Yes, I make a motion to adopt resolution number 6016 for the reasons therein stated, denying the conditional use request of Sprawl Road Developers LLC, former Don Guanella site, pursuant to section 362F3456 and 7 of the Township Code with respect to the areas of steep and very steep slopes in order to permit disturbances for the uses of grading stormwater management facilities, trails, roads, driveways, sanitary sewer system, parking lots, and certain accessory uses in connection with the proposed mixed use institutional development of 71.47 acres of the institutional, institutionally zoned portion of the property located at 1797 Sproul Road, Springfield Marble Township, Delaware County, PA. Second, John Longacre. Board discussion. You want me to read, you want me to read my uh, speech again? No, <laughs> I, I will stand on my prior speech from uh, a few minutes ago, as well as from uh, uh, a few months ago when we did the backlog. Any further board discussion? Uh, we'll do roll call vote again, uh, starting with me. Yes. Uh, yes to deny. Yes. Long John Longacre, yes to deny. Yes to deny. Dan Leibson, yes to deny. Motion passes 6-0. Can I get a motion for number 